Hey everybody, how's it going? I am your host, Adrian, coming to you almost live from lovely Petaluma, California, here in Studio MC2 at Quicksurf Internet Studios. The Geekinator is a proud member of the Tech Podcast Network. If it's tech, it's here. Do feel free to head on over to techpodcast.com and check out all the other technology-related shows over there as well. I'd like to encourage everybody to visit us online over at quicksurf.com. Please do subscribe to the show if you have not already done so. For those of you who have, thank you so much for subscribing. And uh, with that, let's go ahead and get into the stories for this episode. Uh, Starting off over at the San Jose Mercury News in their business section, the National Security Agency is reporting or is denying reports that it used heart the uh, heartbeat bl- bug, the heart bleed bug, to capture information. Basically, what this is is uh, the heart bleed bug, the heart bleed bug. Man, that's really hard to say. Uh, it was a recently reported vulnerability in the OpenSSL library. It basically made it super easy for an attacker to get usernames and passwords and that sort of thing. Really, really easy. Uh, the, no traceability or any of that other stuff. The, the the allegations are that this was developed by the NSA and probably, you know, injected into the OpenSSL code by the NSA. And they basically left uh, everybody who uses, you know, fairly recent versions of OpenSSL for the last couple of years wide open to this vulnerability so that they could continue to gather intel. Strangely enough, they have flatly denied it in what is being described as uh, very pointed language, uncharacteristically pointed language. So, um, you know, you know, my initial response is, yeah, okay. How much do you think I believe you based on what I just said? We're going to leave it at that. I'm not even going to talk about it outside of that. From the Wall Street Journal, Amazon is preparing to release a smartphone. They have plans to announce a phone in June, and uh, they're planning to begin shipping it uh, at the end of September. So we'll be keeping an eye on that to see what comes of it. It should be pretty interesting. I imagine it will be somewhat based on uh, considering they just released uh, the Amazon Fire TV and they have a Kindle Fire. Um, I imagine it will probably be called, uh, you know, the phone fire or, you know, I don't know, that sounds kind of cheesy, but, you know, something fire based, based on that, uh, that kind of UI type thing that they've got going on. This is purely speculation until they actually make an announcement, you know, uh, that's pretty much all I've got to go on. But either way, uh, in terms of how they customize Android and, and get Android to work in their UI design, it's actually quite good. It's one of the better, uh, UI for uh, smartphone interfaces and TV interfaces I've seen around. So uh, should be pretty interesting. I'll be keeping an eye on that. From CNET.com, Sony issues a warning on VIO battery glitch that could cause burns. They think the flaw exists in uh, non-removable battery packs in the VIO Fit A 11A hybrid laptop tablet, which they just launched in February. This is really really unfortunate for them. Um, The non-removable batteries could overheat and catch fire, according to Sony. They've posted a note on their website asking the customers to stop using the VioFit 11A, saying the battery packs have the potential to overheat, resulting in partial burns to the housing of the PC. And they want them to uh, immediately discontinue use, shut down, and unplug the PC pretty drastic. This must be a serious problem that they have. Um, you know, it hit store shelves in February starting at $799. It's an 11 inch laptop, tablet, etc., etc. So uh, we'll be keeping an eye on this just to see what comes of it. I mean, this is bad news. If you own one of these, please don't <laughs> follow, please do follow directions. Don't let yourself burn or the laptop catch fire and potentially accidentally burn your house down or something of that nature. So pretty scary stuff. Uh, From BBC in their news technology section, Google Glass is going to go on sale for one day. That's right. Uh, 
April 15th, for a single day, the you will be able to buy Google Glass, the general public here in the United States. A couple of requirements, you do have to be at least 18 years old and you have to fill out an online form in order to be eligible to buy the device. Uh, it will cost you $1,500 in US currency and um, yeah. <laughs> I'm not willing to shell out 1500 bucks to, to buy Google Glass. I'm just not willing to do it. So it should be pretty interesting to see um, you know, how many people actually do that. April 15th is just around the corner. I find it interesting that they picked April 15th because that's tax day here in the US. That's when everyone has to have their taxes filed unless you wanna get penalties and all that good stuff. So it should be pretty interesting to see how many people got a tax return large enough to buy uh, Google Glass. Mm, that's actually an idea. From uh, designandtrend.com, NASA is testing a flying saucer spacecraft bound for Mars. Pretty interesting. Uh, holiday makers in Hawaii may get a shock this summer, according to NASA's intelligence. A flying saucer will fly over the beaches of Hawaii. The disk is not extraterrestrial. It will be launched from a U.S. Navy facility in Kauai in June as part of a project that will one day see the spacecraft, if successful, carry heavy loads of equipment and eventually people to Mars, according to Science Recorder. So pretty interesting. Um, I'm curious why they're doing it, but, you know, be keeping an eye on it and see what happens. From DelhiDailyNews.com, NASA is preparing to place people on Mars by 2030. Um, the NASA officials are charting out plans to put astronauts on Mars by 2030, showing a showing human presence on its surface. The words, in the words of William A. Gerson Mayer, NASA's Associate Administrator for Human Exploration and Operations, the plans are intended to allow us to make sustained progress toward a human presence on the surface of Mars. NASA is also planning to test new spacecraft in a short span of three years. Kristen Mayer, in a statement given on Wednesday, said there is real hardware and manufacture for, for the path to Mars. Um, the space agency has plans to send out a space launch system rocket and Orion multi-purpose crew vehicle for an unmanned test in the year 2017. Could be later used for the purpose of sending people to Mars. So pretty interesting. If you want to go to Mars, you know, that's something you can definitely do. That'll do it for this edition of the Geekinator. As always, everything we've talked about is linked up in the show notes, which you can find online over at quicksurf.com or if you're on YouTube in the links down here below uh, the video. And uh, with that, I will see all of you on the next episode. I'll see you then. Bye.